As you may know, I bought a Steam Deck a couple of weeks ago, and one of the things I did was add a lot of applications to it to make it do more than it should. So here are my top five applications for the Steam Deck. So let's check it out. Now I'm gonna post a link of the original video of the Steam Deck and the problems that I have with it right over here. I'm also gonna post another video on installing Steam Deck on other operating systems other than the Steam Deck itself, which I'll post over here as well. But today's video is more about adding applications to the Steam Deck to make it more functional. So let's jump into it. Now here we have the Steam Deck OS. Like I actually have it just HDMI uh, capturing. So I do have the controller set up, but I also have a mouse and keyboard. First thing we need to do is actually drop down to desktop mode. So I'm gonna go here switch to desktop mode and everything we do will be off the desktop mode just to install all the applications all right so i had to switch over the display to my capture device so i can make this my primary so you can see what's going on first thing i highly recommend getting is something called proton up and you can do this by going into the marketplace or discovery and you can install something called uh, proton up which i already have it installed so you can see it says remove but I'm gonna show you how the application looks like. And why this is a must have is because it actually unlocks more abilities to your Proton library to allow for more supported games and higher frame rates on certain aspects of different games. So Proton Up is almost a must have if you wanna get better compatibility with games. So I'm gonna go over here and click launch. As you can see, I only have one Proton installed, which is the GE. And GE, which is Glorious Egg Roll, is like the grandfather of modifying Proton executables to make more compatibility for certain games. So the first thing you wanna add is more uh, GE-enabled Proton uh, libraries. So this is the unused one, which is the one that comes with my Proton. I actually installed 6.2.1 because it actually supports OpenGL on certain games. Just don't mind that, but I do need 6.2. And when you add version, you can actually add, other than uh, Proton GE, you can add um, uh, Boxtron, Lux Torpedia. These are other compatibilities for older games. Like Lux Torpedia allows for, uh, I think like DOS, DOS box types games, like older versions of games. But mainly I'm looking for a Proton GE. And right now 49 is the highest version and I have 47 installed. So I am a little bit behind on the versions. I'm not gonna install it right now, but this is highly recommended to do. So you could actually choose the Proton versions and you could do that by just going into properties and then choosing compatibility and then choosing the GE Proton version that you have. Sometimes it will increase the frame rates and get better support. And sometimes it will just make a game work. So you could either test with Proton Experimental or you could test with GE Proton. Now, the next one I highly recommend is something called MU Deck. Now, if you're planning to play some retro gaming like PlayStation, PlayStation 2, up to PlayStation 3 or Super Nintendo, Genesis, MU Deck is probably the, the go-to software that you want for emulation purposes. Uh, there are a lot of tutorials online and you can actually ins uh, check out their installation guide on how to e and easily install this program. I'm not gonna run through the installer because it does take some time, but all you have to do is actually just download the installer, run it, and it'll install everything on the background and it will add all the libraries to your Steam library for you. So it's seamless integration to your Steam Deck OS and you'll be able to choose all the games that you want. Or in my case, I actually just installed Emulation Station through MU Deck. So it's all in one other area. So I just open Emulation Station and I have all my um, emulation games in there instead. The only one that doesn't work with that is your PS3. You do have to manually add the games via their uh, installer. But again, there's a lot of tutorials out there just to get this going. So definitely MU Deck is your next one. Now we all know that Steam Deck could play Steam games, but what if you have Epic Game or GOG? Here's another big one. You need to install something called Heroic Launcher. Heroic Game Launcher allows you to actually run GOG games and Epic games through their launcher. And that's actually how I've been playing a lot of my Epic games that I purchased before, like uh, SnowRunner and Rebel Space Galaxy. This launcher actually loads up seamlessly into your uh, Steam Deck and you'll be able to choose the games to download or run through Epic or GOG. Now they do have others, which I have not tried. And I think you can probably use Ubisoft through here, but I only was interested in Epic and GOG. Now to add this seamlessly into Steam Deck, along with other applications, what you wanna do is go into Steam, open that up. In games, you wanna add non-Steam game library, and you could choose whatever you want to show up in your Steam Deck seamlessly. So you could just go over here, look for Heroic Game Launcher, like, yeah, it doesn't show up because I already added it. But yeah, it would be in here, and then you just have to choose what you want, you just check it off, and you're done. Heroic Game Launcher is almost a must if you wanna play games other than Steam. Now, here's another one that I like, which is Plex. 
there is a client version. That's what I'm using right now, which is the Plex uh, desktop client. I watch a lot of Plex because I like their live TV now. And I also run a lot of stuff in the back end. But if you run this launcher, the Plex um, client, you can actually seamlessly run this into your Steam Deck and watch shows or movies that you have loaded or even live TV. So that's another way of using this just in case you want to use this as a media station to watch movies and stuff. So yeah, Plex client is very good. Last but not least, I play a lot of Minecraft with my son and it's not easy to actually install Minecraft on the Steam Deck because Minecraft is WASD and you have your keyboard controls and stuff like that. So what you want to install is something called Prism. Prism Launcher allows you to make custom launchers for Minecraft and it actually has plugins for Steam Deck. Like there's an actual a Minecraft with all the Steam Deck uh, compatibility. So you could actually use the joystick and the controls and all the buttons from your deck to seamlessly play Minecraft. So I actually use Prism Launcher myself just to play Minecraft. There's something called the Deck Pack. And what's awesome about the Prism Launcher is if you wanted to add different types of versions like vanilla, um, Technic Launcher, whatever it is and whatever mods you don't have to go through the browser to install you just choose the mod that you want and it'll install seamlessly into your instance and then it'll add it to the main screen now you can also load this seamlessly into your uh, steam deck dashboard and you only see this menu right over here that you're looking at and you could choose the launch that you want to launch and play whatever game you want and if you want to play vanilla you can or if you want to play some modded version of minecraft you can also do that through here without having to go through the browsers of downloading plugins or mods or anything like this is one of the best things you can do if you like to play minecraft on your switch last but not least this is a little bonus which is chrome girl chrome on the steam deck works pretty good especially if you're able to use the steam and x button to pull up the keyboard and just do some normal browsing if you needed to so yeah Chrome is the added bonus, but you can actually just install. And you can install Google Chrome as soon as you load up the Steam Deck the first time you ever used it. So it's not really anything I had to do in the back end. Anyway, that is it for me. If you guys have any application that you'd like to load on the Steam that is not in this list, let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.